here I heard there's a prophetess um, and I heard she can heal the sick and... Hey! Kai is in the car! Oh, Kai is in the car! Hello, TV freaks. What up? How you doing? My name is Chacha Wabara. Thank you so much for doing this with me. Thank you so much for being here. Today we'll be reviewing the movie Prophetess. Okay, a Nigerian movie, a 2021 Nigerian movie. And uh, <laughs> I saw this movie several weeks ago. Sorry, pardon me. Like I explained in one of my movies, it, uh, you know, it's not been long. My life has just been ups, you know, really upside down. I moved to a new place and um, it's taking me a while to settle down. So here it goes. Now, Prophetess has actors and actresses like... Tony Abraham, Ade Dimeji Latif, Kende Bankole, Blessing Obasi, Kunle, Remy, yeah, Stan Nze, Uzoa Rukwe, Deemi, Okanlawo, Muiwa, Ademola, Tina Mba. Now, this movie is so funny, it's so amazing. You see, eh? There are some times eh, that Nigerian movies eh, will give you what they want, what you want rather, and um, would also make you happy when you're watching it. You see, there's no, this one better pass or the, the picture quality is good and all that. You know, there's a way the vibes of the movie will be taking you and you're not looking for the aesthetics or the cinematography or, ah, uh, oh, wow, this kind of movie. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't, or oh, it isn't a movie that I would see under the one circumstances. Don't get me wrong. No, but it was funny and satirical at the same time. Um, it was a movie that I could relate with, a movie that talked about um, this girl who had epilepsy and all of that, but... You know, had so many issues and she could prophesy. So one thing led to the other. She had her own small church and small followers, maybe three or four followers. And she predicted football match. I think once or twice. And then everybody now was depending on her. You know, everybody rushed there and all that. And then Kunle Remy is um, an online influencer, social media influencer who also, you know, videoed her and she, through that, that was when she made those predictions and which came true. So when she made another prediction that did not come through, everybody wanted to, you know, eat her raw, including Kunle Remy who started the whole hyping or whole intro in the first place. And then so many things were riding on a particular game and she had already said, okay, it will be like this. But you know, you know, the characters like um, Demi or Kanlao who was a tout and all that, you know, made it more lively. Um, it's a movie that was scattered. It's a movie that did not have a particular, you know, heading towards this direction thing. You know, it was there, yeah, it was there, yeah, it was there, yeah. But we understood the story. It was like, we, we, Niger people, we, we, we understand. We know where they happen. We know where we're going. I particularly liked Kende Bankole's acting in that movie. Her role, dear, you know, per se. Her role, dear, she, she knows how to bring out the thing in her. She knows how to, whatever role you give to her, she's sure to interpret it the way she is supposed to interpret it. I especially loved Kende Bankole. I liked Tonya Brown and the way she was able to mimic that, um, talking and all that epileptic seizure thing i see it all the time so she 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 whoever she learned it from however way she learned it she was able to project it even with the tongue twisting and all that that's a lot of effort a lot of time you know getting it right it was brilliant you know this movie is not one that i'm actually interested in the storyline per se but 
the you know individual impute individual excellence of each you know of the actors and actresses in the movie because if you collectively just talk about the movie there will be not there won't be much to to say per se unless you're telling a story which was which we're not doing here okay we're talking about the individual impute of the actors and actresses for me Uzo Arukwe was good at some point but at some point too you know he lost me and um, whatever he was doing was now childish I think at some point he was even trying not to smile and I'm like ah, what's up with this guy what's going on most times these days he can't seem to hide his smile or control the smile or whatever I'm like oh wow waiting now so you know but you know Demi was on point kende bankele was on point kunle remi awesome you know they didn't really put in their much the way to abraham put in and kende bankole but they tried they really did good they they really you know tried to bring it home um they they, they did their best and um, <laughs> I also liked the football playing and all that. It was awesome. It was amazing. It was wonderful. And um, it's a movie that I may not see again. But then if I see Prophetess 2 or, you know, same actors and actresses trying to mirror something else in another movie, I'll be quick to see the movie. You know, that kind of thing. So I'll be rating this movie a 5 over 10. Um, the cinematography was not too good. Sound was okay. The picture quality was a huge no. A serious no. A big no. Uh, <laughs> the plot was not um, anything to write home about. It was just scattered. Anything. The one you like, just take it. The one you don't like, ignore. That kind of thing. So, um, which brings me to the end of this drama review, however short it is. Up there, you see my Korean movie review, my Chinese movie review, my Nigerian movie review, and then again, my movie reviews. Thank you so much for doing this with me. Thank you so, so very much for this. I'll see you next time. Bye. And don't forget to subscribe if you and drop your comments in comments down below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn up your post notifications to be alerted when new, new videos come up. Thank you so much for doing this. Bye bye. Bye bye.